Not only have I been using monitor arms for years, I've also had the opportunity to test a huge variety of products. There are a lot of potential issues that can come from monitor arms. I put together my top five tips to help you avoid these problems and to find the perfect product to fit your needs. At the end, I'll share some of my personal favorite products. To attach the arms to the desk, most brands will provide either a C-clamp, a grommet mount, or possibly both. The C-clamp option is the least permanent solution and can easily be moved as needed. With a grommet mount, you will have to drill a grommet hole into the desk if you do not already have one. Both of these mounts can give you a very solid hold, but keep in mind overall stability is not solely determined by the mount. A grommet mount will provide the most finished looking solution but it's a bit of a commitment to drill a hole in your desk. So make sure you're confident where you want the mount to be before pulling out the hole saw. I'll add a video link in the description of my man D. Rick showing how it's done. Clamp mounts on the other hand give you better flexibility. Depending on the style of the arm, it might make more sense to have the mount centered or offset to either side of the desk. There's a couple of things to watch out for with a clamp mount. If your work surface isn't a squared off shape, you will not have a large enough surface to clamp down onto. Also, if your surface is too thin or not strong enough to handle a hard clamp, you may need to look at mounts with a larger plate. These will spread out the force of the clamp, helping weaker work surfaces to handle the force. No matter which style mount you choose, you may need to allow for additional space behind your desk. Dual monitor arm setups with extension arms are likely to hang off the back of your desk. Gas or spring mount arms are better if you can't pull your desk away from the wall. If you can place your monitor directly onto the post, this will take up the least amount of space. Some good news, many products offer both mount styles straight out of the box. So if you change up your setup often, your arms can adjust along with it. Now focusing on the monitor, we need to make sure anything on our setups has VESA mounting. I personally wouldn't even consider anything without it. Now I've made this mistake in the past thinking I could glue on a VESA bracket. And while it worked for a time, there is no removing that super glue. So make sure to check first if your monitors have VESA. Usually the mount will be totally visible, but sometimes you may have to remove a cover or the included stand to reveal the mounting square. Size and weight are other monitor specifications to look for when buying monitor arms. If you have a 27 inch or smaller monitor, weight won't really be an issue. But when you step up to 32 or even 49 inch ultra wides, look at the monitor arm's weight capacity and maybe consider buying a heavy duty unit. Monitors that are too heavy tend to pull down on different types of spring mounts. This can inhibit the panning and tilting functions. With dual monitor setups, always check the monitor arm specs to make sure you can fit your two monitors side by side. Now monitors are only getting larger, and if you want that maximum productivity, bigger is better. Plan on purchasing a monitor arm that offers more flexibility. Having a monitor arm that wobbles can be a major distraction. If paired with a standing desk, the problem can be significantly worse. Instability can come from several areas. And while spending money on a more premium model might fix the issue, it's not a guarantee. I would argue that the style of the mount has the biggest impact on stability. If stability is your top priority, I recommend finding an arm where your monitor is directly attached to the post. This setup should be rock solid. If you have multiple monitors side by side, then the key will be limiting the amount of arm extension. Keeping your monitor as close to the post will eliminate the bounce that is exaggerated as you push them further away. I also suggest swing style arms over spring lift arms. Swing arms allow you to lock them in place, minimizing as much movement as possible. The attachment point to the desk is the next factor in stability. You could have a rock solid monitor arm system, but if the mounting point is weak, you'll lose that stability. This is where spending a little extra for premium products with a more robust mount can really make a difference. With so many different variables, you really need to focus on stability throughout your entire workstation. If that's proving to be difficult, you could try out a wall mounted system. Choosing the right monitor arm can really improve the looks of your setup. Ultimately, you're gonna have at least two wires plugged into each monitor and running somewhere under the desk. If you have two monitors, the wire situation doubles and becomes an even greater eyesore. Some monitor arm setups have cable management built in, but they're often gimmicky and not as helpful as you'd like them to be. Some systems work better than others and can allow you to fully hide your wires. Routing cables through the arm does introduce a couple challenges. 
You'll need long enough cables to make sure you have enough length to route through the arms and reach where they plug into. If you aren't able to find extra long power cables, keep that in mind when purchasing your monitor arms, as you might not be able to use their built-in cable management. Even when monitor arms do include that cable management, they typically still leave a good portion of the wires exposed. This is where I like to use cable sleeves and clips to manage the visible cables. With a $15 cable management kit from Amazon, you'll have more than enough tools to get this job done. The other aspect to cover here is the overall look of your final product. Ideally, I like to not even see my monitor arm products. A single vertical post being visible is ideal. If looks is a top priority, a grommet mount is going to be the most finished solution. Adjustability is an obvious necessity for those who move their monitor between sitting and standing, or for those who like to share their screen with someone in the room. But even for those who don't need this flexibility, having an adjustable monitor arm allows you to get your setup situated in exactly the position you need it. The manual height adjustment design that comes with basic monitor arms is going to be adequate for people looking for that set it and forget it situation. Even the simplest arms usually allow you to adjust the height, tilt, and pan of your monitors. These simple solutions require loosening a collar or a bolt to make an adjustment. But this requires a tool, and that becomes a problem for those who make adjustments daily. You don't want to be searching for that Allen key all the time. So if you find yourself in this category, look for a monitor arm with a spring or gas-assisted system. These grab-and-move adjustable arms do come with a downside. Trying to get multiple monitor arms to line up perfectly can be a bit of an annoyance. As promised, here are some of my favorite monitor arms. For flexibility, I love the Ergotron LX Vertical Stacking Dual Monitor Arm. You can use this in multiple configurations, and it includes both a clamp and grommet mount. For ultimate stability, I love the Hover 2 Post Mount Dual System. With the double extension arms, you get even more stability, but also flexibility.